Hey, we got a, got here late and got a bunch of stuff unloaded, but Carrie is um, taking down the cabinet, trying to take down the cabinets. We're gonna see how easy it is because it's really late. And uh, old school heavy wood cabinets. <laughs> I put the bucket in there in case it just starts to go on you, which I don't think it's going to just start going on you. I don't either, but um, I think the um, silicone and such around it. Well, those cabinets don't have a back. That's the This is the actual wall. There's no back. Yeah. This is the actual uh, broken screw. Right. By the window, I think. Here's there's a screw there. I didn't think how the head is on it. Yeah. Here you go. Thanks, my dear. Ah. Okay, so you remember those uh, bits we? Uh, Grabbed out of the uh, barn today and you um, put them in this box. Yeah, I need the uh, square ones. when we're doing work like this. Never, I've never hurt myself doing demo today. No, square. I don't have my glasses on, okay. so it's kind of tough. Uh, my work. I, I know, that's what I'm saying. So now um, I have two screws that I can't get out, um, and one screw that is broken up top, and one screw that is broken down below. May I please see Mr. Crowbar? And Mr. Hammer? Now we're going to try to avoid Mr. Hammer. We are. I would start at the top and work your way down. All the way on the outside, that's just my opinion. But sometimes my opinion doesn't matter. No glasses for work. I don't have my safety glasses with me, they're at work. Uh-oh. They had backups. Yeah, they were in the barn. vibrating tool so it'll cut those what's that thing called an oscillating tool it's an oscillating tool see i called it vibrating tool it does vibrate a lot the difference between what a woman will call it and what a man will call it. it's still a glorified vibrator honey all right keep it clean No, 
tell him what I'm doing. Do you strike? You might have to get drywall mode instead of spackle. Fix that one. It's really hard on the ears. Okay, so it's those screws in the back of the head that I can't get out. We got some wiggle and some jiggle. Okay, so what do I have? Oh, I have thin. stripped off of that I can't do anything about. Oh, let's see. I was hoping that. This could get ugly. Yeah, I'll push the video button. It's going. Oh, it is? He thinks I don't, me Turn thinks, he thinks I right? don't know, and the Turn little the numbers are going right? up. Thank you. Do you look better that way? Well, no, but it looks better on the uh, YouTube that way. This is cabinet one, gone. This is cabinet two, gone. And that took five minutes. And this. He's been taken out. <laughs> is cabinet three upper. Noisy. I won't <laughs> So we got a welcome home packet for USAA, our oh so wonderful lender. And this is what was inside the welcome home package. A beautiful American flag. You could guarantee that it will be flying tomorrow. I don't have a flagpole right now. Yes, we do. It's in it's front not, of our old house. But it's not here. So have to bring it home. Bring it here <laughs> and put it up. This is absolutely cool. I'm so happy. Smile, say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> and the third one's being a pain in the neck. It doesn't want to come down. I got two broken screws. So, um, okay. So, one screw still in. A little bit of patching to do. Yeah, well. Oops. Yeah, a little bit of patching to do. Otherwise, not so bad. I guess um, I'm gonna get those two screws that are stuck in the wall out and um, maybe see about trying to crawl underneath there and get the uh, lowers going. But this is what we ended up with after we took the bottoms out. Um, we had what looked like some um, black fuzzy stuff over here and some just nasty stuff back over here. And this one over here was already cut up to here, like they'd done something. Anyway, so we just ran it straight across. I know it's not a pretty line, but it'll work for now. Um, the guy's coming to put the gas in, so he's gonna need a hole here anyway. He may have to go up higher. Um, not sure, works for me. Anyway, um, and unfortunately, the refrigerator gets delivered tomorrow. So we'll have to figure out where we're putting that for now. So anyway, at this point, it's time to go home 
and say goodnight. Okay. Okay, we are back to the tiny to cook dinner since we're not done at the other house. So it's simple, um, a couple of gold potatoes, salt, pepper, olive oil on the cook sheet, uh, pizza pan, uh, cast iron, whatever you want to call it, pizza plate. Um, a bone-in ribeye that's going to go in the skillet. And we'll take a look at the braised ribs. Uh, they look fantastic. Oh my goodness. So we'll have to let you know how that turns out. In the meantime, um, I have to uh, get this in the oven. There we go. And I'll give that about seven or so minute head start before I put the steak in. We will show you how that turns out because all I'm going to do is throw it in the skillet. Oh, I did a tortilla in that earlier. I'll have to wipe it up. And uh, we'll let you know how that turns out. All right, so the potatoes have been in the oven for, oh, five minutes. Um, skillet is on stove. It is warming up. I'm currently at three. We may crank that to four for a minute to get it uh, toasted up. We have uh, bone-in ribeye. All I've done is salt and pepper, both sides. We're gonna splash the skillet with a drop or two of extra virgin olive oil. Yes, dear, I picked up the screw that's on the table. And as soon as that heats up, gets me a nice shimmer going. Boy, I can't wait to cook on gas. We will take steak and put it in the pan. Get a nice brown on one side. Flip it over and get a nice brown on the other side. No, I'm not going to keep holding this the whole time. Dude, did you hear that? Yeah. If you don't hear that sound, it's not hot enough. So, four, five minutes on one side. Five minutes on the other. And um, I've got it on three. So uh, we'll get back with you in about 10 minutes. There you have it. Dinner for two. Uh, well, there's one. There's the other two. So dinner for two. We have uh, braised spare ribs and cast iron. E steak and <laughs> cast iron potatoes and I will hand this over to Sandy oh wait I was supposed to have steak I, I wasn't you have steak. ribs oh we're both having okay that's cool I guess I didn't know I was having ribs too so the other day Sandy didn't feel good so she had got steak out which is why we had a steak left and so I, ah, that was I close. my ribs. See what happens when you try to video on your phone? One-handed, even. <laughs> but I caught it on the counter, so we're safe. I'll eat off the, chi off the kitchen counter. <laughs> so clean, you could eat off the kitchen counter. Yes. Um, so the other day, Sandy didn't feel good. So as you watch me clean up the floor... Oh, and my foot that um so i have a steak 
because she had thawed some steaks. And she didn't, so we have one steak left over. And she got the spare ribs out. I cooked the spare ribs today and to decided to split the spare ribs so she can have some spare ribs. So in the meantime, I'm gonna eat because it's getting cold. Thank you. Well, since we, since we haven't posted anything since we've gotten a handful of videos going, good thing we haven't closed this up yet. We tested the shower in the family bathroom, the one that's got the whirlpool soaker tub in it and that there is i know it's hard to see fresh water and all we did was turn the shower on and see if the shower head worked so it appears it's coming from up in here somewhere but since all of that's coming out at some point in time i'm not too concerned with it problem at this point is we can't find a shutoff ahead of the shower. So this one here is gonna be the incoming cold because it cuts off here to go to the toilet. And I'll see run the hot water to the toilet. That'd be kind of a moot point. Um, And then it goes across back over through there and around the wall over there to go around the corner to the laundry room. So, um, I don't know. I don't know what to say about where there's a shutoff for that. It's, it's, um, it's a mystery. It is a mystery. And the other mystery is, how does the water get into, I don't know. Anyway, that's it. Uh, we got the toilet out of the master bathroom. The one that was broken, pieces falling off of it. It's out. <laughs>